good morning my dear students today i have planned to make you revise writing skills see earlier you were doing full full writing skill whether it was formal letter writing informal letter writing email writing notice writing debate speech story writing article writing so but now according to new cbse guidelines writing skill questions can be asked in mcq form so now you have to be very much attentive in class okay see the knowledge you already know you have to apply that knowledge in a very you can say particular way four options will be given to you and the main guidelines which were discussed in the class according to those guidelines mcqs will be asked okay so now it is a time that you should go in deep detail of every kind of writing skill listen to the explanation whatever we speak in class you jot down the main main points whatever we write on the blackboard you listen it carefully and write down because in between any kind of question can be framed and asked you should be mentally prepared for that okay so today i have pla planned to take story write okay so get ready for that basically what is story writing story writing is a particular arrangement of ideas of any kind of situation incident episode okay but while writing story you have to keep so many points in your mind so here i am going to make you the main main gist of every writing skill one by one i will be discussing it with you you listen to that very very carefully so for making any kind of story for making any kind of story what is important plot plot of that story is very very much important your whole story stands on plot a plot of the story is good only then you can move further in your story there should be dialogues there should be characters there should be innovative ideas paragraph should be changed according to change in incident whatever is the title of the story that should be catchy that should be brief that should be you can say appealing okay you are not supposed to write down whole of your story in single paragraph you have to write down your stories in small small paragraph and change in paragraph should be change should be broad according to change in incident whenever there is a change in scene change in incident change in situation your paragraph should change accordingly okay you have to make coherence there there should be unity in time place and action it doesn't mean one of the episode is uh, uh, you are imagining on sky okay and second incident is imagining in on earth there should be unity in order because some of the stories are imaginative okay there are imaginative characters also so all these things should be united together so all these points that i'm going to tell you don't sleep in my class i'm not uh, making you sleep be active and jot down the points that i'm going to tell you so what is known as the backbone of story tell me what is known as the backbone of story plot all of a sudden answer should quickly come in your mind then you go through the mcqs first yesterday also we i made you revise grammar so i told you that solve grammar whatever narration voice model active voice whatever is asked in voice you solve this answer then find out the, your answer is hidden in mcq or not then you will become more confident don't search your answer in mcq right after asking after reading the question you will get confused so see i'm really impressed with vanshika i simply gave introduction of story after that he asked you what is the backbone of story all of a sudden it should strike in your mind what is backbone why did it appear in your mind i told you just now that your whole story stands on what plot but this question is changed and it is asked in which form what is backbone of story so the answer was quick it was plot 
go what is plot basically what is plot tell me what is plot plot is a place where you are going to make your building according to writing scale according to uh, that story writing what is plot i'm telling you your, your story should have a good plot so what is plot empty space tell me here plot means sequence of ideas here plot means sequence of ideas so this word quickly should this phrase should occur in your mind what is plot ma'am ma'am is again and again telling in class whenever she makes us revise story writing she speaks like this that our story depends on plot our story depends on plot so what is plot so whenever i speak plot which phrase should occur in your mind ma'am may say sequence of ideas it means whenever you are going to frame any kind of story your story base that is a backbone of your story writing is plot so what is plot plot related to that mcq can be asked be prepared for this ma'am has told us in class that plot is sequence of ideas see if i tell you okay frame a story on that little girl and uh, the gem she found on the road now see caption i have given you make a story on little girl and a gem she found on the road now what will go in your mind all the ideas sequence that she went she was passing by the road she got up a piece of that glass she thought that it is a piece of glass after that she realized she went to one of the jeweler to show it he told that it was not a piece of glass it is basically a very precious gem she she sold that in the market after that she became rich she was treated just like a princess her parents became so rich they were living in a hut but they started living in a very good house they got very good quality food they became rich she went into a good school all the ideas are coming in your mind now you are going to frame a story so your story will be based on plot and this plot is sequence of ideas are coming in your mind one after another another after another after another all the ideas are coming in your mind now your story will be based on the sequence of ideas am i clear after that now when you are going to write down a story there should be what three elements you have to keep in your mind three elements you have to keep in your mind that which are the three elements beginning middle your uh, story writing should have these three elements beginning middle and see when you have arranged all the ideas you have collected all the ideas sequence of ideas you have framed that in beginning i will be writing this after that this 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 and so on so what do you think if you will be writing in a boring way would you uh, uh, do you think that you will be able to score good marks and any reader will read your story suppose you watch any movie for 3 hours you go to a uh, theater or you purchase any cd or you watch it online wherever uh, would you like to sit for 3 hours in front of tv if movie is going on boring would you like to watch in between you will stop it stop watching it but if it has suspense if it has it has something interesting so you will continue watching it because you will be eager you will be inquisitive to know what is happening next what is the climax so if in between in middle you put climax if in and also you put climax your story will become yes you will become you will be able to make your story interesting but if in the same 
a monotonous way in a boring way you are going to write down your story you are not going to score good marks nobody will read your story even it will not be so appealing so your story stands on basic three elements good beginning good middle and good ending so this mcq can be asked what are the three elements of story tell the sequence of that it will be beginning middle and end so jot down this jot down this so in beginning what kind of elements can be added in beginning in beginning what can be what kind of climates sorry what kind of elements can be added in beginning see in the beginning when you read first or second paragraph you will come to know about characters about themselves about the characters which kind of persons are there you will come to know about the time in which time this story was written you recall whenever you read any story whenever you read any story so you uh, from very first paragraph we come to know about time long time ago there was a fairy once upon a time there was a lady once there lived a poor couple in asian time so from first paragraph we can what what we can we can visualize we can visualize the time we can visualize the character by reading only first paragraph this image comes in front of us both i send you in library i tell you to read this book as soon as you will read first paragraph you will start imagining or not and how will you spend half an hour in that library you will forget about all your surrounding about your attention no you will be completely engrossed in that story and you will think yes this is a girl this is a boy this is a time and your reading will become interesting but if first paragraph will be boring will you read further but if see uh, it is my personal view point that we watch such kind of episodes we watch such kind of uh, movies or serials we read such kind of books which are related to our life isn't it isn't it suppose you get a chance to read a adventurous story about a boy of your age would you like to read or not no because you will when you will go through that character you will imagine that yes you are he isn't it if i give you a one story and this story is about a girl of 13 years old how did she face problems in her life how did she win how did she bring laurels to her family would you like to read or not so it happens with us so in first paragraph in the beginning what things should be there in story it this question can be asked in mcqs there should be characters there should be time okay so that why this so that reader can visualize time of that story reader can visualize characters of that story he can imagine in his mind he can imagine in his mind that which kind of story i am going to read so from the very first paragraph introduction will come in front of you from that introduction you will come to know what kind of characters are that in which time this story was written you can visualize with that so this is the beginning of your story which contain all these elements if you have listened that lecture carefully and any question related to story writing is asked in mcq form so answer should strike in your mind 
50. Am I clear? So you jot down these details also. Hurry up. Huh? Uh, the eighth and ninth labels was there. You were supposed to write down full story. But now, related to story, MCQs are given. Related to story, MCQs are given. That what elements are to be added in beginning. You, if you have listened in class, only then you can write down. And why? Uh, the question can be asked, why these elements are written? To visualize, to imagine, to get the idea, to make your story interesting. MCQ I think this option is wrong. What is the right option? To visualize. That's why these things are added in beginning. Now, which kind of stories, what kind of, uh, sorry, uh, what kind of characters can be added in story? What kind of characters? It can be fairies, it can be aliens, it can be imagery, imaginary, okay? Yes. So you have to decide beforehand the characters that you would like to include in your story. And the role they will be performing according to the role also that they will be performing in story. The story should have interesting note. Okay. A story can have number of events. And these events are joined together. And what should be the unity? When all the incidents are joined together. So there should be a unity in. Unity in. Time, place, and time, place, and so the rain has uh, shared a very good guideline. So to learn it, it is tap time, action, place. Time, action, and place. What kind of unity do we expect in story writing? What kind of unity do we expect in story writing? We expect time, place, and action. TP will flow. It is easy to learn tap in place of TPA. You can learn TPA. It means unity. Which time is going on? Which action is going on? On which place story is going on? So all these three things should be united together. So time, place, action should be united together in story. Am I clear? So it was all about I now middle. When we are doing middle part, so middle part, it means actions are there. Events are there. When events are there, actions are there. What do you think? These actions and these events, they should be united. When we have come to know about the introductory part of story, okay, we have come to know about characters. We have come to know about time. We have come to know about place. And when we are reaching at the middle level, all the incident, all the actions, they should be united. Isn't it? Whatever the incidents are going on, one after another, they all should go in a chronological order.
as in the beginning i have given the example of a story of a poor girl who found a gem on a street chronological order sequence wise pehle kya hua after that what happened after that what happened wo pehle hi rich ho gayi thi no she got that gem she showed it to one of the jeweler she sold it in the market then afterwards she became rich after that she planned to go in a good school her parents got her admission in a good school she became something in her life so the incident which are going on all the incident should be united they should go in a chronological order pehle to nahi likh doge ki went in a good school uske baad rich hui hai uske baad usko stone mila not like that so all the ideas should be chronologically uh, properly arranged in a proper order one after another and there should be a climax also twist also now if the story would go in a boring way after this what happened he went there she went there what person so you will read you will uh, love to read such kind of story you will feel sleepy as the when she is sleeping today so in order to bring variation what should be there characters narrations if i in boring way i tell you the girl found that stone she went to market now girl went to her parent dear dad dear mom do you know what i have found today on road oh silly girl you don't know what is that it is not a glass it is not a broken piece of glass it is a very precious gem let's go to jeweler and show it to him and find out what is that now there is a twist climax in the story they are moving ahead to jeweler with so much anxiety that what is that in their hand jeweler started checking it she is he is rubbing it with his equipment with his instrument and after taking so much time he told them you people are fool you are carrying it in your hand like this do you know what is that what did he speak? what did he speak it is a precious gem worth of rupees 50 lakh so when such kind of dialogues are given and this dialogue was spoken by jeweler to parents of that poor girl so by adding these dialogues in narrative form your story will become lively your story will become interesting okay so there is a need to add characters and narrations in your story to make your story interesting without narrations without characters your story will not be interesting so there should be a dialogues there should be conversation there should be narrations okay in the right place to make your story fresh in between if you think your story is becoming bored boring you can add narrations you can add conversation you can add dialogues so these things you can add dialogues narration simran has written yes we can add proverbs also to make your story interesting proverbs can also be added it will give life to your story it will make your story lively interesting good piece of writing am i clear so instead of sitting like this and this write down because these things which i'm talking in you which i'm telling you in class it can be asked in mcq form straight away or this way or that way it will be asked what i have written on the blackboard whatever i have asked i told you in class 
so it's better your pen should move on now be prepared mentally prepared that whatever ma'am is telling it can be asked in mcq form but if you are attentive if you have attentively attended the lecture you will be able to solve otherwise all the mcqs option will be new to you new terms will be to you if you are not attentive in my class if you want to make your plot more interesting you can bring crucial points ab yahi story hai jo main bata rahi hu isko boring way se batai ja rahi hu jeweler ke paas chale gaye after that they found that the cost of the stone was that gem was 50 lakh ab banao story ko interesting kaise banao tell me how will you make this incident interesting by the time i mark your attendance i have left the story in between they are coming back from jeweler they are so excited after that what incident will you will be adding let me take your attendance those who are not attending their classes they have to repent afterwards i have marked your attendance yes simran you tell me how will you make this story interesting yes ma'am uh, after the girl and her mom came to know that the ruby was really precious they were happy but the jeweler being so greedy exchanged the ruby with another stone and gave it to them mother and child went home happily but the uh, then after that when the jeweler was about to put the ruby into a safe box his hand slipped and the ruby fell into the sewer and after that when mom and the girl reached home and went to buy a new house they were really upset after they came to know that the ruby was not precious then when the in the sewer the ruby was just going away and away the girl saw something shining and ran to her mother telling and screaming that there is a ruby there is a ruby and when they found it out they were really happy this shows that karma is real if you do something with someone it won't last long and that's how they bought a new house and their life was really happy afterwards good very good so in this way you can bring the crucial points so why these crucial point was added see when it slipped down so what will be your condition as a reader you will be very much inquisitive to know that were they successful or were they again poor were they able to find out that ruby or gem or not so in this may in this way i want to tell you that at one point you have to make your story crucial at one point so that reader should be eager to know what is going after words okay so here you have to add crucial point in the story so many things can be added in story what are those things write down adjectives idioms similes metaphors adjectives idioms similes and metaphors these things can also be added in your story idioms adjectives metaphors in poetry you have done metaphors no so the ending of the story should be interesting clear and definite some stories can have twist in the end but the ending should not be abrupt and vague ending should not be 
abrupt and vague abrupt means not uh, so sudden vague means not clear ending should not be ending should not be should not be vague it should not be abrupt abrupt means sudden ekdam se nahi ek story chal rahi hai climax se they are pushed saath hi ending mein they lived happily forever is tarah ki ending meri achhi lagti abrupt means it should not be so sudden there should be a climax there should be some crucial point suspense should be there then and vague vague means unclear so these are the points that you have to add in your story it should be natural ending should be natural and it should give a sense of completion it should give a sense of satisfaction to the reader yes he has gone through the story and at last he was feeling satisfied after reading the story yes okay clear so this is the way to do your story writing 